Young adults from eight nations visit our team in Ukraine and learn firsthand what it means to visit Jewish homes and share about Alia. This is Alia News. Sixteen young adults gathered together for a week of training at our base in Poland. During their time there, they received teaching on Jewish history, what it means to volunteer, and how to organize Alia transfers. Knowledge quickly turned into practical experience as the group planned a day trip to meet up with our team in Ukraine. So we are here at our base, humanitarian aid, loading the bags. We're going into Ukraine tomorrow. So bless these people. And so we're packing the clothes for bringing to Ukraine tomorrow. Maybe just one lot. And the suitcases, and then we'll take them across the border. So a lot, of, a lot of new donation from Germany. After a short drive into Ukraine, we met the team for a meal where they spent time sharing with us about how their work has changed since the war began. So I first heard about what Ebenezer were doing in Ukraine when I went to the conference in Budapest last year and I was really moved by some of the stories and I think one of the highlights for me was uh, meeting the Ukrainian team, hearing some of their stories, praying with them. It was such a privilege to stand with them. Hello, my name is Lorna. For me, what, what stood out as, a, uh, as most powerful was uh, going out to Ukraine for a day and um, it was wonderful to sort of, again, listen to their stories and um, share fellowship around a meal, um, as well as uh, providing a bit of uh, physical help with suitcases and clothes. So come with us. See the van here? Death's just closing the door, but um, it's a full van of lots of clothes that we brought over from Poland. We said goodbye to five participants who would spend the next few days learning about fishing in Ukraine. Hi, I'm Sarah, I'm from England. Hi, I'm Andy, I'm from Spain. And today we're going into um, some people's homes and we are going to share with them some humanitarian aid and also direct them to some of the scriptures about Alia in the Bible. We're going to be here doing these things for two days. We're going to spend two nights and yeah, for us, I think the most important thing is uh, to learn more. Exactly, it will be really informative. We hope to encourage the team as well. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye. The door to mark something. So we have just gone to the supermarket here, Metro, and we've taken items for food packages. We are now assembling them in the car park. Supplying food parcels and clothing to Jewish families also provides an opportunity to share the message of Alia. After making dinner together and a good night's sleep, the next morning they set off to visit the families. Yeah, in, a, in our case, the first family for me, and uh, well, I think for you too, was a bit shocked mm -hmm. at the first experience because we arrived there and it was a uh, quite poor family. You hear their stories and you share, uh, you share about Alia and what is, and they said to you that they tried to do it, but they cannot because these days, it's quite common with the marriage, uh, children out of marriage. They're, they're like seventh floor in this apartment block. They have to carry him down to see sunlight. And yeah, he's severely disabled. I think she had a, a, a half brother in Israel yeah. that she would help, but you would need a DNA test. But after you hear that, you don't know what to say. Bye. Bye. Enjoy fishing. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Um, so this is our second day of fishing. Yeah. How did you find yesterday? Yeah, it was good. It was a really nice experience. So it's very good to see how different it's every family, mm -hmm. every situation. It's like you can you cannot make any plan in to to listen, improvise and trust in the Holy Spirit that will guide you. Nice. And what are you looking forward to today? I look forward to know more families and see more different situations and how, how it works. Yesterday was really good. 
all together there with 13 families we visited. Okay, so what was really uh, beautiful for me is every time the family said that I came all the way from South Africa to see me and the big heart. You came all this way just to see me that I am coming to bring you a message that God has not forgotten his people. He loves you and that he wants you to return. It was for me a very uh, amazing experience, something I will never forget in my life. We did quite a lot of visiting actually um, mm -hmm. for the rest of that day till, till late um, and I didn't really know what I was going to say to people, but I, I just said, I am, I'm Philip, I'm from New Zealand, I'm a church pastor there, and I believe, you know, what the Bible says, I believe that in the prophets, the Lord uh, says that he will gather his people. Um, you know, I, I just gave that simple message, and um, one woman was just mute, she didn't hear, she started crying when I, when I said that, and so uh, seems ridiculous in a way. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I can't speak Ukrainian. <laughs> I'm, 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 yes. I, was, I feel like I'm kind of useless, you know, like, what, what can I do that yeah. the other people can't do so much better? But just being there was a witness to them. I do believe we will see families when we will hear about them, those who actually made it. Yeah. So I do we will hear about the family that they are already in Israel and they are safe and, and you are the one like actually, you know, uh, participated in this so it's very necessary uh, as I said before to speak to their hearts from the scripture from uh, what the Lord says in his word and as I said I really like how Sarah was saying that scripture about that God is doing with all his heart with all his soul that he is gathering and the point is is so if he is doing that and with all his heart and this is his desire that means he will you know then bless them and they will prosper in the land each time our teams enter the homes of Jewish people, sharing the message of Alia from the scriptures, we see God's power at work in their hearts. God has professed his deep love for the Jewish people and uses our teams to affirm the same message spoken by the prophets. He has not forgotten or forsaken them and will bring them back to Israel and settle them there with all his heart and all his soul as promised in Jeremiah 32. I will make an everlasting covenant with them. I will never stop doing good to them. I will inspire them to fear me so that they will never turn away from me. I will rejoice in doing them good and will assuredly plant them in this land with all my heart and soul. We'd like to invite you to join us next year in Jerusalem as we meet together on our international conference from the 17th to the 22nd of November, 2024. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the Ebenezer Operation Exodus YouTube channel to stay updated on the latest reports of Worldwide Alia.